Hey there, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther Vision. Today I want to show you how to create this distortion lines in Photoshop and also combining it with Illustrator. So let's do this. First, we're going to create the lines in Illustrator. Also make sure you don't have anything in the fill. So click on the fill and then click on the none. You're left with the stroke. We're going to select this, the line segment tool, which is located right here. And press and hold shift and create a line. I'm going to increase the stroke here to make it thicker. Press and hold Alt and also drag it down and press and hold Shift so you can isolate it. And from here, I'm going to press Ctrl D repeatedly or a long press Ctrl D. And this way is going to create a lot of copies. Select them all, press Ctrl C and go back to Photoshop. Press Ctrl V and I'm going to go with pixels. Click OK. And uh, I gotta press and hold Alt to scale this down. I mean up, scale it up. And press Enter or just double click on it. There we go, I gotta uncheck this one. And from here, gonna press the type. There you go, this is the type tool. Click. Press Control T. Press Shift plus Alt and then scale it up. The font is Enter. I'm gonna change it a little bit, medium. Yeah, I'm gonna do go with medium. Double click on the fonts layer. Let's let let's add a little bit of stroke. 41, something like that. I'm gonna also increase the size. Control T, scale it up again. Rotate it. Actually, I'm gonna rotate down because the effect is gonna work vice versa upside down actually so i'm gonna do it something like this okay all right i'm gonna right click on this convert to smart object and go to filter go to blur gaussian blur i'm gonna go with 30 or 20 actually 27 click ok let's save this so go to file save s we're gonna save it as Photoshop file PSD as you can see here. I'm gonna rename this displacement. Displacement number five. And uncheck the layers and click on save. Okay, we're gonna uncheck this one and then check this one. I'm gonna uncheck this little lock. Press and hold shift and then select also this one. So they both are both are selected. Uh, right click convert to smart object and now go to filter distort displace uh, i'm gonna go with 200 by 200 so th this basically is going to distort it from left to right and up and down horizontal versus vertical so actually you know what i'm gonna go with zero on the horizontal because I mostly want it to be distorted vertically. So I'm gonna click OK, select, double click on the displacement, check created, and wow, snap. So as you can see, it distorted, it, it basically moved the distortions from down to up, but uh, this is too much distortion. So I'm gonna go here, as you can see, it's, it created the smart filter and here is the displacement. I'm gonna double, double click on the displacement and decrease the size on this to 100 and then click OK again. Select again the displacement and now it's simplified a little more and I also said uh, it's better to you know turn it upside down. So um, I'm gonna create a new copy. I need to test it out. Control C, Control V. It created a new copy. I'm gonna create a new layer. I'm gonna select both, right click and merge layers. So we don't have any effect applied on this. I'm gonna uncheck this one, Control T. And press and hold Shift, scale, I mean rotate it, sorry. See that? Now it's way better, way better than how it was before, I think. So yeah, anyways, this is how you apply the effect. And thank you so much for watching. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're new on the channel. Hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. And also check out the other videos as well. Have a great day. Bye-bye.